Hey guys, Riverdead here. Welcome to another episode of Tyranny. Let's figure out where we're at today. Let's see what we're up to. We are doing the Conqueror's Will. I think that is the one that we're doing. Uh, so we need to travel to the disfavored camp to the southeast. Is that what we're seeing? Okay, well let's go down. We'll unpause ourselves. Let's see if we get stopped here. Uh... Can we get out of here? This is the southeast, right? Oh, there's little markers here I can see on the... Okay, is there... What? Is there a way out of here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There is. Can't do that. Okay, so shall we continue? Aha! Knew we'd figure something out. So the disfavored camp. Take three hours. I can handle that. Yeah, it's kind of neat to know that... Uh, I didn't even realize this was done by Obsidian. I actually did some research on it after the fact. They did uh, Pillars of Eternity, which is a game I've quite enjoyed. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely enjoy this for sure. Well, none of these guys won't chat. Oh, slow down a moment. I know we're both eager to watch Arkans bicker over tactics like a pair of magpies, but I need to ask you something first. Sure, go ahead and ask. First asking, the voice of Narat told me that you, you've come as a mediator considering the source. Well, I can't help but feel as if you're only hearing half the story, so let's have it out. What is so special about you? Uh... Well, da, da, da. I'm going to use lore. I think I gain lore by doing that, so I'm okay. Yeah, so I mean, if I can lie and gain some stuff, I'm all about it. Well, anytime it tells me I can gain extra stuff. Uh, is that all? I can only understand why Tunan, Tunan? <laughs> would worry himself over resources. But we have riches of the Northeast, or the Northern Empire backing this conquest, not to mention. Thunder of the Tears. If you say it's the case, I will go along with it. Okay. Doesn't just matter, so she's not happy. Um, what else has the voice of Neurot told you? Only that I would find you... Endgaring... Oh, find you in the Endgaring Ruins. I was like, endangering ruins? What did I do? Uh, truthfully, I would have picked you out of the crowd. You're only one of us who hasn't spent the last few months bashing, bathing in the stink of the... Matani River. Yay. Uh, so why is she so suspicious? It's a feeling I got. Okay. Uh, really ought to be meeting with the Archons. I gained loyalty, which is good. One last thing. Be careful with those disfavored types. They take their work seriously. Most have suffered too many blows to the head. Haven't we all? Okay, well let's get in and chat with them. I'm assuming there's going to be a conversation again. Hello, Mr. Mister. Stone Shield. That's a good name for anybody. The stone colors arrived. The guard nods your approach. It's an honor to welcome you to the disfavored camp. You must have been a terrifying... Must have been a terrifying honor to be the mouthpiece of Kairos magic. You lucky sod. Okay. Um... That will salute. We gotta, you know, be kind. To do okay, so we're ending the conversation. Let us in. So we did something good-ish. I haven't pissed off Verve, and I haven't pissed off the uh, this favored. So that is a good thing. Are you wanting to talk? Hail to you, Guardian of the Law. Mandras Merchant Finery greets you. The smile. You only have a few excess rings weighing you down. Please unburden yourself before battle. Okay, so let me just see his wares. Okay, what does he got? Uh, do do do. Equipped our inventory. What did I just do? 
Let's just call it there. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't want to chat with you. Who do I have to chat with? I see all this stuff around here. Let's continue on through. This looks important. Oh, good lord. I want that thing. Can't do that. That's four reports of avalanches hey, in the Hey, finally somebody's now. talking. The tearsmen can barely count past nine. They have neither the capacity nor the cause to close off the mountain passes. Either way, that leaves the second and fourth cohort trapped outside the valley. So the Archon of War pounds his staff on the ground to punctuate his words. A large and imposing man to begin with. His profile is made larger still by his hunking suit of armor that hums with mystic energy. That's cool. Or it's the work of your perfidious Earthshakers. Only a fool would not suspect a traitorous Archon of poisoning the mind of his students with sedition. We would have killed the Earthshakers Guild for their master's treachery. But I'm sure you have some perfectly valid reason for allowing them to live as your pawns. So the Archon of Secrets passes a scepter between his hands as he speaks, twirling the rod in hypnotic circles. Emerald luminescence seeps from the seams of the Archon's ragged red robes. The glow is most noticeable where his neck ought to be. This mass seems to float and spin, never pivoting or bending naturally. That's kind of cool. Hey, watch yourself. When these two get going, you don't want to get between them. Well, obviously. Uh... Well, might as well just do our thing. Okay, good. So we actually did this thing. Governor Mumble. Ooh, I've, I'm a governor. Nice! Look at me! Long have we been honored by your iron. Now we are honored by your presence. I must apologize for my lord's tempers run high as of late. Uh, okay. I'm going to actually bow. Stormcaller. It is an honor to Look have at you this. with All us. All a favor. I would imagine you are here with, with another of Kairos' edicts. Great. Perhaps another catastrophe that will punish our foes for hiding behind their walls? Huh. We were worried you'd never make it. So glad that Drastus' demise didn't cause further delay. Okay, so the Archon's secret turns his attention to you, the frozen Rictus fashioned into his brawn mask, greets you with a permanent smile. Uh, 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 uh. You know what, I'm gonna go for three. My dear Binder, we won't be done bickering until the last of Ash's hair falls out. We'll pause for you to read your little missile. Go on, go on, don't keep us all in suspense. For the second time, Brother Tunon selects you for the glory of proclamation. You should be honored. Tell us, what has the Overlord decided to unleash upon the Oathbreakers? Okay, the Overlord's servants must be... Okay, did de So I got three options here. The Overlord's... Uh, the Overlord's loyal servants must hold the Ascension Hall by Kairos' Day of Swords, or all in the valley shall perish, or two. It seems you need some encouragement to work together, which, yeah. A Kairos leader will end the lives of everyone in this valley unless Ascension Hall is claimed by Kairos. Or three, in honor of your incompetence and disarray, the Edict will execute every living thing in this valley unless Ascension Hall is taken by Kairos. Um, I'm going to be bad. I've been good up to now. I've gained wrath. Wow, okay, I not disfavor, I got wrath. The earth sways with each word you utter, the air thickens with warmth. As you pronounce the tersely phrase commandment, its very syllables drafted by the hand of Kairos. With Eda proclaimed, your pulse quickens, the muscles in your legs, worn from a long trip down the mountain, feel renewed. Your tire limbs now nearly buoyant with vigor. The Overlord means to compel us into action. No doubt the avalanches in the mountains are part of this ultimatum. Well, yeah. We must conquer the Oathbreakers or die in failure. 
There is no room for error, and no other way out of this valley alive. We'll need to advance across the Matani. Okay. We lose everything if we stand still, and we move to back up Plan Green. The Earthshakers didn't make it over the mountain in time, so we do this the hard way. Over the walls, instead of through. Okay, so the Archon of War taps... The Archon of War taps a finger against his temple. A low rumble escapes under his beard. So, you found your backbone at last! Oh, we were worried past humiliations would make you soft. Timid. Well, yeah. That was a record for you, right? The Baker's Dozen lost in one sortie. If you had waited for the chorus reinforcements, maybe we'd have eyes and ears on the matter. Oh, great. Okay, so we get bigger. I'm actually thinking of two. Oh, but subterfuge, 20. Let's do it. I second the fate binder. Thought you had the memories of one of those oathbreakers rattling about that bronze gourd of yours. Would Kairos's mighty spy master please enlighten this gathering of allies with some scrap of strategic insight? <coughs> Great. Okay, so the voices of Nerat, the Archon of Secrets, turns his head to the side until the face of his mask has turned around and the new facet of the mask presents itself. As facing forward. When next the Archon speaks, the trembling voice of a younger man can be heard. Okay, it's Our like, river oh, was to be the bulwark, but with the Tidecasters slain, what hope remains? It's so cold in here. Help me. Please. Okay. So the Archon turns his head to the side until the previous fast of mass now looks forward. Our sources tell us the Oathbreakers had some sort of magical trick in store. But this knowledge is tinged with fear, trepidation. If we make a move for the Matani, we suspect the Oathbreakers will mount a counterattack that is equal parts valiant and futile. Yeah, that voice. was Matani Yanev, former noble of Apex and one of the leaders of the Vendrian Guard. Back when they were half respectable enemies that knew how to lose with dignity. When the Guard first surrendered, Yanev presented himself to us. What he knew, we now know. Okay. Oh, let's give him grief. Do not think for a moment that you can give us orders, maggot. Ooh, I not like unless it. you wish to discover new ways of feeling pain. I, apparently I'm just pissing everybody off, which is fine by me. Okay, so we got Iron Marshal now. What, Everenos? My Lord Barrick and his band have been drilled on the Echo Call assault plan. The Crescent Runners should be briefing him as we speak regarding the latest enemy movements along the river. I will dispatch him at once. The Iron Marshal salutes, clamping her gauntlet to her breastplate. Okay, now the fifth eye said that I will ensure the chorus stands ready to march. If the disfavor can take the river, the chorus has the manpower to secure the outer ring of the valley. Our soldiers clamor for battle, and at last we shall have it. Thus, we command you to continue guarding the Fate Binder. Tunan's chosen is our honored guest, and must be shown our finest hospitality. I don't think he means that. I won't let you down, boss. He'll get through the campaign in one piece. As long as he doesn't do anything too stupid. Uh-oh. Apparently she's seen one of my videos. Okay, so. The voices of Nerath. The Archon swirls his scepter one last time and then taps the fifth eye on his shoulder and the two depart. Boom, boom. Finally. The fool and his puppet are gone. Perhaps now I can hear myself think. Rarely do I question Kairos' judgment, but I will never understand why the voices of Narat is given such authority. I shudder to think what will become of us all should Tunon favor him in the end. You never know. Though the edict threatens the Scarlet Chorus just as it threatens us, I cannot shake the feeling that our allies will work against us. Okay. But at least we have allies in the court. My best soldiers have never wanted for a good blade or suit of armor, 
and I know I have you to thank for it. I fear we will have to call on you for more than just a few works of iron. You've okay. shown your worth in war, and your name has been known to the Legion since the very beginning of this long conquest. So I'd ask that you join us this one last time, to help us wrap up this last objective. If you wish to be counted amongst the Glorious, speak with the Iron Marshal. She will direct the order of battle until we are ready for the final push into the Citadel. Okay. So, in a few, in a short, and I'm short a few scouts, short a few soldiers, short a few everything. I'm sure my brethren would be grateful for the assistance of a skilled outsider. Um. I, I'll tell him I'll be honored to help. I'm not going to be a complete jerk. Okay, I'll get the training grounds, readying the soldiers. I mean, there when you're ready. Okay, and then the Iron Marshal, she pauses, clearing her throat, and though I am loath to mention it, the chorus can likely use your assistance. They certainly won't secure the Outer Valley on their own. Fifth, I will be somewhat, somewhere in that rat's nest they call a camp, Dewey's. Seek him out if you must. Okay. So now that we have delivered the word of Kairos' edict to the armies, the time remaining until Kairos' Day of Swords appears next to the current date on the navigation bar. The terms of Kairos' edict must be met by this day for everyone in... Oh, dear God. Eight days. Why did I do the things I do? So I'm assuming I have to go into battle. Okay, so we have still here. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, so we have this, and we have this. Let's speak with the Iron Marshal first. The Iron Marshal's at the Disfavor Camp. Okay. Now let's see, can we, Lucia, Marcus, this is kind of slick. Ash's tent, Lucivius, the Iron Marshal. Okay. I'm digging that. Okay, let's chat. Don't just call the impact pushback with shield. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Doing the whole training thing. Stormcaller, welcome to our camp. The disfavored officer snaps to a salute. I'm sorry your arrival isn't for better reasons. But it's a pleasure to see you again and all the same. It is reassuring to see that Tunan sends us a fate binder with a proper moral compass. Okay. Okay, we talk about the shortness of warriors. I have brigades amassing along Placid, Echo Hall, Little Tooth Crossings. Might be able to hold one bridge that cannot hold against concerted three-pronged attack. I have no right to give you orders, but words falter short. But we all die of Carol's edict should we fail. So I'm about to let my pride come into value of good help. So I will say that I will assist. Our plan might work. Okay, we are loath to work with those who do not share our training and our values, but we know that Tunan, and this is kind of cool, so there's names that are in color we can actually, that is pretty slick. I like this. So if I need to get more information, I have ax, ax, uh, it's like a, a traveling thesaurus, or a, a listing of everything in the game. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see what we got. Antonio will be leading the charge at Echoing Crossing. Assisting you will be Barrack of Stone Shields. As you point to a heavily armed soldier. Before you ask, no, the forge bound weren't sloshed. Okay, we'll just continue on. I think it's just more, more info. He's an amalgamation of rusted blades and mismatched pieces of armor. Wow. Vaguely human shape. He reeks of sweat, feces... And whatever oil treatment keeps him flexible. <laughs> Fate Binder, the Iron Marshal has tasked me with keeping you alive. 
And I have no intention of disappointing her. That should be enough assurance for anyone. Uh, okay, Likewise, good binder. So the soldier heaves a heavy iron arm into a salute, his whole body clanging as he wraps his gauntlet against the twisted sheets of metal that form his breastplate. Beric, is that you under there? I had no idea you were in Vendrian's well. Fatebinder, do you know this walking anchor? Okay. Yeah, let's... No. Oh, that is to say, yes. I'm already as familiar with this ironclad halfwit as I care to be. <laughs> okay. We don't have time to trade jabs today, Verse. After the siege, you can throw as many tantrums as you please. I suggest that we remain focused on the mission. I'm all for that, too. <laughs> no offense to the mission, but seeing you looking like a garbage heap and reeking of a mass grave is more amusing by far. Did you forget how to don your armor, or did Graven Ash leave you out in the rain? <laughs> uh, Beric sighs a frustrating howl, shaking his iron enclosure of a fist. Um, he may be heavy as an anchor, but at least he's not as dense as we Leave intellects thought. to the sages in their fallen library. You would do better to know me as one iron link of the disfavored phalanx. Okay, I'm gonna piss him off a little bit. So, Iron Marshal is now saying the fate might be joining us for the pushing across the river. I figured an extra hand might help. And more importantly, if my worries come true, then the chorus tries to impede the mission that we'll have an observer from the court on our I side. I look forward to working with you again, especially after our time in Stalwart. You defended our honor to the Scarlet Chorus. Okay. And a friend of the Legion never goes unthanked. Yay? Better to work with the Honorable Binder than some Chorus children. Okay. Are we good? So I ask that Beric accompany you to the... Uh, accompany you there to arbitrate the cooperation between his company and the Scarlet Chorus. Okay. Beric, you've been without a cohort since the last Battle of Stalwart. It's time... We gave you a task more worthy than hauling wagons and leading training drills. She plants her hand on her hips, speaks in clipped official terms. Ash has assigned you to the Fate Binder service. Cool, so I have another uh, companion. You assume his tasks is ongoing until we find a more permanent spot for you, which could very well mean the swiftly approaching end of this war or when Fate Binder dismisses you is that understood. So this is good. So, Beric is now, I suppose, I should be in worse company than that of a renowned mage slayer. I have seen how this one treats any upstarts who fail to recognize the benefits of Cairo's peace. Though I would much rather attend to my duties here. That is, unless you're serious about my change of assignment, Iron Marshal. That's an order. I will just go for Opposition 1. Okay, so at least I got his thing We're done. So now there's three of us. Now our next option here, holy crap, we got stuff. Level up Fate Binder. Okay. So with each level you can increase one of your character's attributes, might, finesse, quickness, wits, vitality, and resolve. Okay. Increase the attributes cost one point. Okay. I'm trying to see where our extra points are. That would be the point I have. Well, obviously, I'm going to do this. <laughs> Is that not where I put it? Um. Okay, is this... Why is this not a thing? Oh, dear God. Okay. Now she has... Okay. Well, Barrack has a level. Okay. Now I'm getting it. I I'm actually getting with the program. So he is going to be our melee guy, I do believe, right? So... Let's give him this. 
And then we'll save that. We'll save. Uh, so we'll give him Punisher. I like the idea of this. One hand and two land weaponry. Chance for. Oof. I like that. That fierce demeanor kind of feels important to me. Okay, we're good. We got everybody here. Okay. Did that one. So now we need to. Oh, let's go speak with the fifth eye. Let us get out of here. And then fifth eye is here. Let's do this. Let's click here. Let's get everybody out here. I think that this is where we need to be. What do we got here? What is this? Oh, God. Iron Marshal. Let's get back in here again. I wanted to talk to um, the fifth one, whatever that one was. What are you? Service Commander of the Third Generation Disfavored. Okay. I'm, I have no idea what I'm even doing. Farewell. Let's get out of this conversation. Let's continue on and see if we are... Oh, maybe there's more over here. I'm being an idiot. What do we have here? Anything? This is interesting because I can see the disfavored camp, Marcus. Sorry. Well, let's get over here. Now we've got a big battle coming up, so. I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. We'll probably do that in our next episode anyway. Gathering our forces as of now. Why don't you take a look at that? Okay, our subterfuge just increased. Uh. What do we got here? Marcus. Lucia. There's nothing there. What are you? Yeah, I get that. Uh, what's over here? Oh, there we go. There's something over here. It's so confusing. These the map system is just it takes a while to get used to for me, which is fine. It's all a learning curve for a good old rivet head. It's been a while since I played one. Ooh. Yeah. What do we got over here? Ooh, what's that? Take it all. We're a little at the end of the map. Can't do that. Okay. I'm going to end the episode here. I obviously still have a ton to learn. Which is fine. I'm going to do a little bit more exploring and get everything ready. And, and obviously, obviously, there is just a lot of dialogue in this. I'm enjoying it a lot. I don't know what you guys think of it, but that's fine. Oh, man, I can zoom out. Good lord. See? Something you learn. But I am enjoying it. So I hope you guys are as well. And I will see you guys in our next episode. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.